Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, <clears throat> if you're new here, you're welcome to subscribe, but you don't have to. Um, it is now 2023, so happy new year, everybody. We are actually setting goals to maintain them and systems to actually do that. And I want to preface this by this is going to be and take time to do at least like set up for a little bit, but it is going to feel really good when you're done and it will ultimately help you start with step one this i'm going to take time and like reflect on kind of last year so you can do like pros and cons kind of of last year versus this or versus like what you did like and didn't like um or like things that you wish you had done or things like whatever and kind of reflect you can do you can do like a little journal entry and literally just talk write paragraphs of what your year was like or things that you like, things that you want to keep doing, things that you wish you hadn't done. Take a few minutes, five minutes at least, to just write. It doesn't really have to make sense either. Just write a bunch of words and do that. So I'm going to do that right now and do a little time. finished my little thing so i did six categories you can do whatever you want or you can like i said like format it however but i personally did my first one was like what i enjoyed this year um what i didn't enjoy this year uh stuff that i wish i spent time doing or wish i did um what i want to continue like what i'm doing now that i want to bring into the new year um what i want to stop doing and then i did like a little like review category because you know they were kind of all over the place and i just did like the key things that were prioritized prioritized step two so um basically spend a little bit of time just writing a bunch of words just write a bunch of words and of things that you want to do things it could be things that you're already doing that you want to keep doing or just things that you want to do this year it doesn't matter if you've done them before if you did them now just write them however you want you can want um but i personally color coded it by priority so i circled the ones that i 100 percent need to do um then i have a second priority and a different color of stuff that i want to do it's not but it's not like as high priority and then third is like stuff that i'm not going to be that mad if i don't do but it would be nice to do so you can do it in priority you can do it in category it's really however you feel best about it the next thing you're gonna do so step three three stuff you can write down every single word you wrote or just things your top priority so um i wrote down the word and then wrote down like a goal um around that word so for example like for if you one of your goals is to read more or to read a certain amount then write read and then next to it do like your goal so i did like i want to read 30 books this year and you can set a goal or a way to maintain that goal um basically just like a sentence next to it or just something so that you can actually like, realize why you're not doing it or why you know, how you can keep doing it. So once that is done, you can make actual like pages and like journaling. So this is kind of like more of the journaling aspect that I personally think is really fun. And this can be online or on your in your paper, it doesn't matter. So I did reading um, as my first one. I'm just going to use it as an example. I wrote the goal at the top again or your sentence, but I would recommend like having a goal set. So I wrote the goal at the top and then you can do some calculations if you want for like if you're doing savings, like how much you get every two weeks and how much you want to put aside in order to reach 3000 by the end of the year or in order to reach whatever by the end of the year in your savings or books. So books if i want to read 30 books i have to read one book every 12 days it's really not that hard you just divide 365 by your goal so 
Um, for books, I wrote down the dates. This is a little bit excessive. You guys do not have to do this. But I wrote down like January 1st to January 12th because it's every 12 days. And then a book. Um, the 13th to 24th. The 6th to the 17th. Or like just write down all of the dates. Again, not necessary. You could also just do like 1 through 30 and just fill out the books that you read. So whatever is helpful for you. Um, but have some sort of like log or goal um, to actually like write down and keep track of the money that you've saved, the books that you've read. I don't know. I'm trying to use other examples so not everybody has to use a reading goal. Did I do that? Because it's easier to keep track along the way, I personally feel like. If you have daily goals, I personally recommend the app Habit. This is not sponsored or anything, but I use Habit pretty much every day. And these these are more for daily goals, probably. Um, but what you basically do is write down things that you try to do every day, like make your bed, um, take medicine if you like, and then study every day. I want to do exercise every day. Your app, and you can like add them all as lists, and then you get to like check them off once you've done them. So I personally like having like a checklist because then I like feel better and feel like rewarded kind of when I get to check it off list and like you to check it off. You can use it on paper as well too, but I just like, I think it's easier on your phone because I use my phone for a lot of things. Would recommend that for daily goals. Um, and for maybe like a long-term goal, like a saving or reading, I'm using those too, but I recommend the website Notion. I think it's an app also. I like, I haven't been using it for too long, but um, yeah, so you can get this on your phone or computer. And basically you can make however many categories, however many things that you want, and you can make one for every single goal that you have. Um, I started with reading and basically wrote my whole like to be read list. So I have all of my books and I can like once you finish, you can click them off and rate them. Um, you can organize it by genre as well. It does take a little bit more time, especially like this took a lot of time for me because I wrote down literally every single book that I'm is on my to be are. So it, it depends on how much work you want to put into it, but I like I like having it mapped out because then I know I can go back to it and once it's done, it's a lot easier to maintain. You can add a page for studying. So if you have daily homework, um, especially if this is on your computer, like your school computer, you can put down every single goal or every single like homework that you have and then check it off when that's done. And there's a lot of things. If you just mess around with it, there's a bunch of templates as well. And you can make it really aesthetic. So if you want to have an aesthetic thing that you can look at and keep track of, that definitely makes it more fun. So you can have like your cover, you can change your banner, you can change all these things, you can color code it however you want. So if it's however much time you want to spend doing this, I would recommend Notion. Um, but yeah, so I hope this is helpful. Um, literally four easy steps to make this, make your life easier and maintain your goals. I am actually about to plan my YouTube videos on Notion and stuff. So yeah, I will see you guys on next Sunday. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Happy New Year and we're gonna we're gonna have so much fun on YouTube this year. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Anyways, okay bye.